Hi, I'm Karen Brighton. I'm at the Lakes Golf Course with resident golf pro Josh Alpert, also the founder of Good Swings Happen Junior Golf Academy. And I'm really trying to work on my golf game. Josh said he could help me. I figured the best place to start would be at the beginning. Here at the driving range. What do you think? Can you help me? Uh, we'll give it a shot. Why don't, uh, why don't I watch you hit a couple shots before we get started just to see, uh, see what we have. Great. Okay, one more. So here's what I would do to start with, Karen. Um, clearly, you are a really good athlete. Do you have experience playing other sports at all? Just about every other sport. Just about every other sport, yeah. but golf? Okay. So what I'd like to do here uh, in the time we have is just go through a few of the basic fundamentals of the golf swing. I want to really try to get your hands on the golf club correctly. Just talk a little bit about the basic stance and setup and really try to get you to follow through the swing to the end of your golf swing as opposed to what you've done on a few of these, which looks a little bit more like you're trying to hit at it hard with tension as opposed to being relaxed and swinging through. So if we could just start with getting your hands on the club, I find this to be probably the most important part of the golf swing. If we can get your hand so that it is slightly over vertical and hold the club with the last three fingers, close your last three fingers and curl all the way in and make a fist. Oh, I got it. Go. You feel that squeeze there? Uh -huh. Okay, so if you are holding the golf club with the back pad and the last three fingers of your hand, so go ahead and hang on there, excellent, and let this thumb relax. If we can get your right hand as if you were handshaking somebody. So just hold your right hand out so the lifeline of your palm fits to the side of the golf club and just curl your fingers underneath. You will kind of almost feel as if you are handshaking the club with both hands. You kind of sense that? Mm -hmm. If you were to fold the golf club, I want you to notice the hinge on your right and your left wrist. That basically what we're going to try to do is, is just get the club to work into a fold here. Okay? So that when you swing the club back on this next one, as we come into the top of the back swing, you are gonna feel that the club can fold and hinge over here. Cool. And as you move through to the follow through, what you tend to do here is hold on and push the club, making the ball go out to the right, mm -hmm. instead of following through so that the club can comfortably fold over your shoulder. Okay. And if we can get you at the finish of your golf swing, go ahead and rotate up onto your right toe so that you're up on your toe and balanced at the top of your back swing, that would be a great place for us to finish. So go ahead. That's why the PGA logo is like that, huh? That's why the PGA logo is like that. Let's move just a little closer to it. Relax a little bit and just let the club swing freely. Okay, better lift on that one. Okay, so really quickly, let's just go through this. So for your left hand, if you are holding the club with the back pad and the last three fingers, so you feel that the control of the club is back there, then what this is going to allow you to do more than anything, Karen, and I know you said you'd played other sports, is when you try to hit the golf ball and your focus is hitting the ball, your arm stays tense and you force the hit and the ball tends to go to the right. Uh -huh. When you're holding the club with the back pad in the last three, kind of like we're doing here, it will give you the ability to allow the club to release through the shot. So I'd like for you to think less that it is your job to hit the ball and more that what we're trying to do is release through and swing the golf club so it follows through. Okay? Cool. So I can feel ahead. the difference already. So go ahead and hang on to that. Okay. Get your other hand on the club so your right hand's gonna handshake the side. And let's go ahead and get set up. And even if you swing it more at 50 or 60% of what you got, let's see if we can just go smooth and let the club release this time. Aha! That feels so much better my wrist. Much better there. Oh, now that's, that was much better. Wow. I can feel it that going good. that way, thank that's you. Uh -huh. You feel the difference in it? Yeah, well before I was trying to make it go straight, so that's why I was keeping my arm straight. Okay. But that feels so much better. Yeah, and so here's a great example again as we go. You were trying to do something mm -hmm. that you thought was right, that was actually causing you a lot of problems in the golf swing. So your intent was, not the greatest, which was gonna set you up for having some problems. Now I'm set up for real though. Now you're set up for real. Okay, so that was two really good ones in a row. In order for us to know that we've actually got this, you gotta get three in a row. No pressure, Here's of course. The pressure. No, there's no pressure. Relax a little bit. 
That was really good. That was much, much better. Thank you so much. In five minutes, we made major improvements on my swing. Much better. Not ready for the tour yet, but we've got some work to do. And I'd like to stay here all day, but this is quick hit, so that's it for now. But do you think we could do this again sometime? We can do this again, and we do have some other areas in the game we have to cover. All right, so we'll be back another day, but that's it for today. For Quick Hits, I'm Karen Bright. <laughs>